Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Test Studio and today I'd like to share with you our free Starter Pack 2.0 which is an update to our Starter Pack that contains 20 titles for DaVinci Resolve. Now we made an update to this with still 20 titles that were originally in the Starter Pack but now we've added over 120 other titles that you can use in DaVinci Resolve. In this new update, you have 8 different categories that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. All the titles have been animated using adding curves so they will work with any frame rate and as per usual, like all the pack, you got a bunch of different things that you can custom, like the glow, shadow, perspective, background, and more. The only difference is that this one is completely free. You can download it by clicking the link in the description below. And we've really tried to add in this pack a bunch of different useful stuff that editors will use on a daily basis, like some checkbox, a few infographics, some backgrounds, some icons. So please let me know in the comment what you think of it. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so to get the pack, you can simply click the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it, and you will get a folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the GRFX file to install, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise some title will not work. So just select everything, and then you can just double click on it to start the installation process, or just copy those files into your font folder. Then you can go to the RFX file, just double click on it, it will prompt open this window, and then here you can just install it. Then once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Title, Video Editor Studio, and then here you can just scroll down to Free Startup Pack 2.0. We've also included the first version of our Startup Pack uh, within the same TerraFX file, so they are available side by side. So now let's just take a quick tour of what you have in the pack. So as you can see, we have different categories. You have 36 gradient background, clean motion 2.0, essentials, icons, infographics, pointers, social media, and styled text. Let me know in the comment below if you will be interested to see more in-depth tutorials and how to do certain titles in each of those categories. I'll be happy to do that. But quickly before we start, I would just like to give you a quick tip on how to get the best performance out of those. They are all using animation curve, meaning that they will work with any frame rate and there is a bunch of additional perks that go with uh, being able to do it that way instead of keyframes. The only downside is that they are a bit heavier and the playback sometimes might not be great right away. So I will suggest that you go over to playback and then here in render cache, you select either smart or user. Right now I'm gonna go with user and that right here, you select show all video frame. You should get a smooth playback with most of them depending on your machine but for example here with the styled text if you bring for example echo that have a bit of a strong effect on it uh, it will not play right away perfectly as you can see we have some dropped frame and uh, basically what we've done here with show all video frame and rendering the user cache allow us to transform here that bar from red to blue and when it's completely blue uh, basically that means that the title has been uh, cached and we can play it at uh, full frame speed so on real-time playback now let's dig a bit more deeper and see what is inside each categories the first category is 36 gradient background so as the name said it's like just 36 different gradient background that you can use so here you can just take it drag it directly in your timeline those gradient are animated so you have a slight animation here on the color the color is basically rotating and you can extend that gradient and as you can see now if we just uh, scroll through a longer period of time we can see that this gradient is just moving around so you have 36 version of those and if you don't want to have any animation you can simply untick that box here, background movement, and uh, that will just be a static gradient. The second category is Clean Motion 2.0. This is a compilation of 30 different simple text animation. We're the first version of this as a pack on our website, but right now we made an updated version with a different kind of movement and animation and using anim curve, meaning that now it will work with any frame rate without the speed uh, being speed up or slow down depending on the frame rate you're using. Using Anim Curve also give us uh, the possibility to add that animation lens in second slider control, like for all or other recent pack. For each one of them, you'll have control over if you want to have the animation on or off, over uh, the lens of the animation in, and here you can pick up some additional animation out as well. In terms of design, you have the usual control for the size and position, the text control that you can adjust, and here the shadow control, 
the glow control perspective and here the animated background as usual then the next category is essentials which is basically a compilation of a bunch of titles that we deem essential for video editors like some lower third to display for example here advice or like checkbox for example loader to load images progression bar timer counter and a lot of different things this might be the most interesting section. Uh, you have a bunch of different titles that you can use. They each have some specificity to them, but uh, the core control are always there, you know, like the background perspective, glow, shadow, uh, text control, if there is some text, size and position, and then you just have some additional control depending on, uh, for example, here, if that's a timer, you will have some additional uh, possibility here to have it counting up or counting down, for example, or like with the loader, you'll have the possibility to bring an image in and to switch between design options. So here you have an outline or like an extrusion type of look. Again, let me know if you want me to do a video breaking down each one of them and uh, making also a video on how to do some of them. So let me know that in the comment down below. The next category is icons. So those are icon tool title across 11 categories. So you have business, computer, contact, design, e-commerce, file type, food, uh, media control, medical, sports, and user interface. Within each of those categories, you can choose between different type of icons. So right now, for example, we have bag, but I could switch it to curve or I could switch to for example dollar right there you could remove here the circle to have only the logo you could remove the glow if you wish to there is really a lot of possibility and flexibility with that the next category is infographic so here we have seven different infographic titles that you can use uh, for example here we have that chart with basically an animation of the counter counting up that way and you can just adjust that slider by going over to bar and here you can adjust the bar scale like that there is horizontal bar and there is a vertical bar and you could just basically stack them up on top of each other and create your own infographic so here if i hold option or alt on my keyboard and i drag that above and now i can adjust the position in size and position and drag that above the first one and you can basically stack them up that way and create your own infographics we have a bunch of different interesting options right here with a number display with a percentage box where you can adjust uh, the percentages and then here for example a pie chart the next category is pointers so here you have five pointers with a box uh, a cursor a dotted line a highlighter and here and on the line for each one of them you can customize quite a lot of things like the size the color the position etc here the cursor is quite interesting you can switch between a different cursor so you have arrow 2 you have a hand and you have arrow 1 same as usual you can adjust here the size and the position of the pointers you can adjust the design color and shadow control glow control perspective and background as usual the next category is social media. So here you have five social media titles that you can use. Here we have a social media for Instagram, but not only for Instagram, because basically here, if you go to the inspector, you have a drop down where you can switch between Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. And we have a simple animation going from follow to following. Now we have different variation of this with here a lower third, but they share the same functionality where basically here you can switch between uh, the different social media available. And we have two other that are more specialized uh, towards YouTube because it match a bit more the design and layout with the bells, etc. right there. And the last category is style text where you have five different style text that you can use. So we have Heco right here. We have glassy, we have lightsaber, we have neon, and we have plasma. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.